Hey guys, Future Me here. I wanted to start this video with the end result. So this is the ending of the drawing that I'm doing now. Um, I wanted to give this to you because this video turned out to be way longer than I expected. It took me about three, three and a half hours to make the drawing. And then I kind of tried to reduce that into a short video and it didn't really work very well. So I'm gonna chalk that up to a learning experience. So this is the end result. And if you're interested in hearing my thought process behind it and how I went, I went about drawing it, feel free to keep on watching. All right, Future Me out. <laughs> okay, okay. I can do this. Oh, I can't do this. Okay, I can do this. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So I got a start on that at the very least. I need I need some perfection. Uh, definitely need some different textures and details on it. And I'm not really sure about exactly what I'm going to do to it either. Like I said, I just kind of had this vision while I was falling asleep. Um, just an idea popped in my head. So I'm not entirely sure what it looks like. Um, so it's going to be interesting. We're going to see. Hmm. And the, this is the problem too, is I have this idea and basically all I know is I got the chains going on. Um, I don't have much else. So knowing that it's underwater, I need to think, what else do I want to put into this scene? Um, I do want to put maybe a diver, uh, maybe a person being looking up at the light that's coming through the water, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so what else can I put in there? Oh, I want to put an octopus. An octopus would be adorable. Where should I put an octopus? Don't laugh at me. You're chuckling over here. Don't laugh. What's wrong with an octopus? Octopus. <laughs> I will not be drawing a cactus. Maybe I should start putting color down instead of worrying about the details right now. Uh, I always kind of go back and forth between doing line work and then putting the color in and things like that. So maybe I should just go ahead and put some blocks of color down. Okay, so like I said, we're underwater here. So down here is definitely going to be very dark and probably even darker than that, to be honest. Maybe. Yeah, no, I mean, that kind of works. That's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to have to do a lot of blending to put that all together. But again, I'm just doing blocks of color to figure out exactly the, the color balance and then where I can put other things. All right, let's see if I can smudge it together and make it look the way I want it to. All right, that is okay. 
I think, especially for right now. That is all right, that will do. Um, this here needs work, of course. And in fact, I think that needs to be blended a lot more than it is. But I will worry about that in a little bit. Make that a little bit more round. I am a perfectionist. This is one of my problems. I can never stop touching. I love those really cool drawings where people kind of just put smudges of color onto the canvas and even finger paint around with it. And you can see it. You can see a person, an orchestra or something like that. I can't do that because I touch. I just can't stop touching. Like this right here, this needs to be smoothed. No, but now it looks bad. Okay, it's fine. I'm leaving it. Um, one thing I do want to do, but I really like when um, there's lots of contrast. So I'm dealing with a lot of blue, of course. I want to introduce a little bit of red. I hate it. It's not what I wanted to do at all. I'm gonna stick with the uh, blue for the water, and then I think like the uh, the octopus and other things. There's gonna be some uh, some highlights and things in there. Let's go back and see if I can add a little bit more dynamicness to this. Uh, now the diver dude, the diver dude. What am I gonna do with the diver dude? All right. So I actually think I want him in a dynamic pose. We have a lot of lines right now. So we have these lines going up to the middle. I want a little bit of sway. So I think I'm gonna have him over here. His body is going to kind of flow more like that, maybe? Let's move you downwards. Oh, I hate that, I hate that. Oh, you know what's better than that? Better than all, everything I just did. <laughs> instead of having him, because I didn't like the flowy thing. So instead, how about he's like grasping onto this. I'm putting way too much thought into this. Like he's just a small piece of the puzzle, but I want him to look good. Nope, I don't like that either. It's not quite right. Maybe I won't have a diver. Maybe, maybe I just won't. Maybe I don't even need a diver. Fuck that diver. That's what I always end up doing. If something's too hard to draw, just ignore it. All right. But what else do I want? I'm still stuck. Like, I just have chains going to the sky. That's it. You know what would be really nice in that picture? What? A diver. <laughs> Did you really? No, no. Maybe, but no. <laughs> You are so mean. All right, well, down here around the bottom, I really do want some like coral is kind of what I want. I don't know exactly how to draw coral though, kind of the problem. And to give myself some uh, flowy, like I really like, uh, maybe some seaweed over here. I don't like that. Okay, so I got a little bit of glowy seaweed. My only problem is that kind of breaks the perspective. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. And I'm gonna try to put in an octopus. My noodle boy. You know what? Let me open my octopus guy. I'll show you what I what I drew. Yeah, here's my octopus guy. So I, I might have been a little inebriated that night, and apparently I kept calling him noodles. I don't really remember that, but apparently that happened. Yeah, she said, "Look at all of his noodles. They're so noodly." So anyway, that that is the octopus guy. He's a little too mean though to go in the. Uh, in the drawing I'm doing right now. <laughs> I 
I should probably go ahead and finish out the chain, to be honest. I'm gonna do that. Get in there, get in there. Slowly but surely. Basically, the my method to drawing is I do a sketch, figure out where I want things, and then I just put color. I like make the, the layer half transparent and then put color where I want it and call it a day. So it doesn't have to be perfect, of course. So it'll it'll be perfect later. At least it better be perfect later. <laughs> Alright, so now I guess let me get in some color and start fleshing out these chains. Okay. Now, colors. Colors are hard. Color should my chains be? There's gonna be some glowing stuff. Definitely some glowy stuff. There's gonna be some green and red glowy stuff. So that's gonna be kind of on the under part because I don't know exactly where the glowy is coming from, but it's coming from underneath. So the under parts are gonna kind of be a little red and green glowy, kind of alternating. We're gonna figure that out when I put it on. Um, but the color for the things themselves, I guess they're just gonna be like really dark gray and then they'll get lighter as they go up. So like I said, I'm just gonna layer color and then I'm gonna worry about getting details and stuff and refining the edges in a little bit. All right, let's do one more link or layer and then I'll start fiddling with the glows. Figure out what actually glows. You know what? So I, I want some glowy red and I want some glowy green, right? Uh, what I might do is have this one glowy red and the other two glowy green. I like that idea actually. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this one here is gonna be entirely glowy green. Got it. All right, so that's the color I'm gonna do. Good, and then same thing over here, bring back my guides. My guides are completely wrong on this side, so my guides are crappy. They're worth nothing to me, great. Good. Now, I need a little bit of this green wash up top. So I'm gonna do a new layer, because I'm always scared to do effects and things on the same layer, unless I mess it up. So it's gonna be a new layer. Of course I need to continue on with um, the the chain. Um, the green part down here is a little flat right now, but I will be adding a lot of detail and like barnacles and things a little bit later. So I'm not too worried about that right now. But what I do wanna do is finish out the chain all the way to the top. So that way I can say that I have that finished at the very least.
at it. It really wasn't that hard to fix. It just, that annoyed me. That annoyed me a lot. A lot more than it should have. Okay, again, what I was trying to do is uh, fix our, um, not fix our, uh, work on finishing the chain. That's what I need to do. All right, that's good enough. I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, let's go back down here to the glow. So perfect lines do not exist underwater. I don't really know, but I assume. <laughs> I've actually never been diving or anything close to it. One time my family was gonna go snorkeling and it was jellyfish season. So nope on that one. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. What did I do? I think I messed it up. That's okay, I can, I think I can fix it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it needs to be perfect. I'm gonna get to the end and be like, oh my God, it's not perfect. It's okay. I don't like that. This is what I mean. I, I can't stop touching. I need to just stop touching it, and I can't. Like, it's impossible for me. I don't like that. Great. This is why you do things on different layers. I think I'm stuck with it. I don't think there's really anything I can do about that. Because I didn't do it on a separate layer. I want to darken the highlight, not the actual chain itself. I guess I could- I guess I could- I guess I could do a little- a little thing. Oh, it's so painful. It is so painful. Okay, I can do it. It's fine. I hate tedium. I do. I hate it so much. I guess that's good. I guess that's good. I guess. I guess that's okay. Is that, is, is that okay? I don't, I don't know. Don't like that. Gotta move you. Now, the next part I wanna do is going to be the rock around it. The rock is also gonna be a little bit of green too. Um, I actually like this color and I think I'm going to use that color for the rock. Okay, so I'm just kinda doing some simple shapes or simple random shapes here. Um, and hoping to, uh, make it look organic. Just randomly, just kind of chopping things away here. This is actually really hard. Making things look accidental or organic is actually really difficult. But that doesn't look terrible. Perfect. Alright, next bit of business, I think. I have no clue. I have no clue what the next bit of business. Oh, it's so tedious. I need to take a break. I need to take a break. Okay, I need to take a break. I like where I'm at. I like this so far. I have one chain going and I have the uh, the ground-ish going. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break and when I come back, I'm going to do something more. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll look at coral. Maybe that's what I'll do for my break. I'll look at beautiful pictures of coral, but I will be back and I will do more. Okay, I'm back. All right, no, I'm good. So now I've been looking at it on and off and I wanna make the background a little darker. Good. I did not look at any pictures of coral, so I have no idea what I'm doing there. But I, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, let's actually make, no! <laughs> I thought it was, I thought I had this tool, the darker tool thingy selected. I did not mean to do that. Thank God for undo. Wow, that's really dark. That might be a little too dark. That might be a little too dark. Yeah, as it comes out, it's gonna get a little brighter. That is my plan. Okay. 
Like again, I, I touch things. I, I just can't stop touching them. So it doesn't look organic because they look too perfect. So those blot painters and all that kind of stuff, I just, I envy so much. I just, I can't. It just kills me. I'm doing better with it. Like even this, this kind of kills me a little bit because I'm a perfectionist and I want to try to make it absolutely like a piece of coral. But you know what? It's going to be all right. That ain't bad. It ain't bad. Good. That ain't bad. Okay. Now, things are glowing green, so it needs to have kind of a green, green aura around it. That's the next thing I need to do. It looks really kind of cool. I like that. That's really kind of neat. Oh, I'm excited. I did not make it so that the center point of the uh, chains are going to the center point of the the light. Perfect. All right, we are doing good. Now the next thing I want to do is some barnacles. It's so cool. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm enamored with the way it's starting to look. I love it. It looks so cool to me. I'm in love with it. All okay. Remember how I was saying I don't like the tedium? I have to do that, like, three quarters of the way up the chain. I don't want to. <laughs> it's okay. All right. It's fine. I'll do it. I will do it because it's going to look awesome. One other thing though, this green, the underside here is a little too static. I was hoping that like the barnacles would really break it up and it kind of did, but I am going to try to make it a little more varied. I Um, I think the next thing I want to do is actually do the other chains. So I'm going to work on those. Now, like I said, this one's green highlighted. The other ones are going to be red highlighted. So it's going to be a little bit different.
I messed that one up. Well, good going me. Because that goes over, under, over, and then over again. It needs to go under. Hold on, sidetrack. Not bad. Not bad. Not best. But not bad. That's the important part. You know, the more I look at it, now I realize that they're not chains. They're more like those, um, those, like, grabby things, you know, where you, like, press, uh, or, like, pull a trigger and it extends out and grabs something and then pulls it back in. Um, kids' toys and things. That's what it looks like more now. So now all I can think is, like, Robotnik trying to, like, go deep sea fishing with these things. So that's one side. Now I just need to kind of like, you know what I might do? I might just copy paste. So, I wonder if I should make like the water around it kind of glowy, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. So again, I'm going to do a different layer. Gosh, I have so many layers. That's not bad. That one isn't bad. Let's try for red now. See if I can make that look okay. Perfect. That actually that actually looks pretty good. All right, so I got those things up. Coral is done. I think now I just need a ton, shit ton, a ton of details as far as the octopus and I need to put fish in there and all that good stuff and the um like coral or not the coral. Coral is there, but like uh seaweed and stuff. I think I might just go with that.
All right, perfect. So got the octopus in. Of course, I need to finagle with the colors quite a bit. Oh, I see. The color is actually quite red, which is funny. But because of the green, of course, it paled it out, which is fine. Okay, so now I need a much darker color. Something like that, I think. I'm trying to do the eyes. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. They're just not really working very well. Alright, so now let's try and spice up these little guys. You need some suckers, though. Okay, so I got the chain thingies done. I got the glowy stuff done. My octopus is now in. I think that's pretty much everything that I had sketched out is actually complete. So I wanna do some bubbles and some more fish or some different kinds of fish. And then I think it'll be pretty much done. go all right you know what i'm gonna call it here i might revisit this picture i might not who knows but it's my idea it's uh that's from when i was sleeping and i had that vision and this is pretty much what i saw so it's pretty cool um i'm actually pretty happy with it it's all right it could be better again if i revisit it and actually add the fish and everything that i really want to then it would be a lot better but there's my whatever you want to call it so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed my picture. If you have comments, please leave them below. I'd like to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.